And now it's a news update on the NCW Life Channel. Here's Cody Johnson. I'm Steve Hare. Here's what's happening on your Thursday. Authorities say a man armed with a loaded handgun was arrested at Bridgeport High School yesterday after he threatened to kill a male student. Douglas County Sheriff Harvey Desdall said 24-year-old Armando Morales Cervantes was arrested in his car at the school parking lot. He was allegedly in possession of a Ruger 9mm pistol. Sheriff said Cervantes had been in a relationship with a 17-year-old female student and was apparently upset she was dating the 17-year-old male student. He texted the girl from the parking lot that he was going to kill the student or himself. Deputies contacted the suspect, then removed him from the vehicle. School was placed in lockdown during that investigation. Meanwhile, Cervantes faces charges of felony harassment, possessing a firearm on school grounds, and carrying a loaded firearm in a vehicle. Also, a local Chelan man facing sentencing in January after pleading guilty to five felony charges, including three charges of unlawful possession of a controlled substance, possession of a stolen firearm, and trafficking in food stamps. Robert Jr. Parks could face more than 50 months in prison with 50 more under DOC supervision. Chelan neighbor Linda Fankhauser said Parks is a habitual offender and drug dealer. She said in her words, so good to start the new year with one more giant step toward being a healthy neighborhood again. Finally, the Washington State Patrol, along with local law enforcement agencies, out with extra patrols starting today through January 1st, focusing on impaired drivers. Troopers say on average there are 40 lives lost in traffic collisions every December, and many are blamed on impaired drivers. Let's turn now to our forecast for the Wenatchee Valley, calling for continued sub-freezing temperatures with a low of 6 expected tonight, dipping to 3 tomorrow night with highs in the mid to upper 20s for today and tomorrow under mostly sunny skies. I'm Steve Hare. That's it for NCW Life News.